previous lesson, I showed you some tips and tricks for applying manual formatting to your spreadsheets to make them more readable and engaging. And in this lesson, I just want to show you a quick trick for applying auto format. And what auto format is, is basically automatic formats. So it takes all of the heavy lifting out of applying formatting manually. We can select a little template from the available gallery and it will apply all of the formatting in one go. And this is a little option that used to be really popular quite a few years ago in Excel and then it kind of disappeared from the ribbon. The good news is it is still there, but we need to add it to the quick access toolbar because we can't find it on any of these ribbons. So let's start out by doing that. Now, remember with this quick access toolbar, if we click the little drop down just here, we can go to more commands and that's going to jump us across to our Excel options and straight to the quick access toolbar section. Now I'm going to select all commands from the drop down. And let's scroll through and find auto format. As I said, these are in order, so it does make it a little bit easier to find. But there is the button that we're looking for. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to add it to my quick access toolbar. You can see there it is at the bottom. Let's click on OK. So now when I'm clicked in my data set, if I click this auto format button, it's going to pull up a gallery of different formats that we can apply to our data set. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. And if we scroll through, you can see that we have quite a few different ones in here. So it really depends how you want your formatting to look. Now, if we scroll up to the top, I think I'm going to go for, let's go for this one just here, classic three. Once you've selected a template to apply, we have an options button in the bottom left hand corner. So if we click this, we can effectively choose which formats we want to apply to our data set. We don't necessarily have to apply everything. Now, by default, everything is selected, so it's going to apply the number formatting, the borders, the font, the patterns, the alignment, the width, so on and so forth. Now, I don't want this formatting to change the width of my columns, so I'm going to deselect width and height. And it might be that I don't necessarily want to apply the number formatting contained within the template either. So go through and specify what you want to apply, deselect what you don't want to apply, click on OK and check out what we have. It applies that formatting and you can see here it's applied formatting to the header row. We have a background fill on all of the cells. It's changed the font color. We have an outside border. So that is a lot quicker than going in and doing all of that hard work manually. And if you decide that you don't like this, you can click on the auto format button again and maybe choose something else. So I'm going to go for classic two. Let's select options. Again, I don't want it to apply width and height or number. Let's click on OK and I get some different formatting. And I think that looks really nice. And of course, you could use this as a base and you can go in and you can apply manual formatting as well. So maybe I want to make these headers a bit bigger. I want to make them bold. Maybe I want to align them to the left or even to the center so on and so forth. So you can tweak these auto format templates once you've applied them. But I think you'll agree auto format is a really handy little button to have on your toolbar so you can just quickly format your data sets. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.